20-year-old causing real excitement behind the scenes at Old Trafford, Rasmus Hoyland has ruffled feathers after what's happened at Carrington Training HQ. There's been little at Manchester United to bring anything like a smile to Eric Ten Hag's face during United's slide into crisis, but Rasmus Hoyland is a genuine source of joy for the Dutchman, and Ten Hag and his coaches believe when the team starts to play with consistency and confidence Hodgland has the capability to become one of the Premier League's best young strikers. Ten Hag has privately acknowledged that Hoyland has not been provided with the right kind of service to yet to truly explode into the Premier League. Rather than play with his back to goal, the young Dane likes to use his pace and power to break opponents' defensive lines and run onto passes. So far he's not been given that type of opportunity, but against Galatasaray he showed why he should be the first name on Ten Hag's team sheet against Brentford. Hodgland's bullet header for the first goal wasn't an easy take but his second was a real barnstormer and left one Sky Sports reporter stunned. A blistering run from the halfway line and cleverly executed dink over the Galatasaray keeper was a goal United striking greats like Cristiano Ronaldo, Wayne Rooney and Ruud van Nistelrooy would have been proud to own. How do Man United expect Rasmus Hoyland to progress? The United shirt can be a heavy one to wear as plenty of players have discovered, but despite being only 20 Hodgland is proving he not only has the mentality to deal with the pressure, but flourish as well. And he settled one argument by demonstrating beyond doubt that he's more of an outright center forward than both Marcus Rashford and Anthony Marshall. Both have been tried as down-the-middle strikers when their strengths really lie in coming off the left-hand side. Hoyland is a traditional center forward with the physical aggression, power and direct threat that is already winning fans over. United haven't had that kind of raw material for almost two decades since Rooney burst onto the scene in a blizzard of goals before going on to become the club's all-time record scorer. No one's suggesting Hoyland will come close to Rooney's 253 goals for the club especially as he's still awaiting his first Premier League goal despite finding the net three times in his first two Champions League games. But there's real excitement at the training ground that Hodgson can develop into a United striker who can carve out a big career at Old Trafford. And if he can find the net with the same deadly regularity as another Scandinavian United great, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Hodgson will be well worth the huge £70 plus million outlay they paid Atalanta. In other news, Man United boss Eric Ten Hag holds his hands up days after starting as private complaints emerged. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag has held his hands up days after the emergence of private complaints from some of his first team stars. The Dutchman has come under increasing pressure in recent weeks, with the Red Devils suffering their worst ever start to a Premier League season. Ten Hag is said to be on the verge of losing the dressing room despite having the club's full backing after players have reportedly worn thin with his public criticism. However, the United boss has now admitted the buck stops with him and that he needs to get his communication right as United look to arrest their alarming slump this weekend. We have to deal with it, Ten Hag said ahead of United's clash with Brentford on Saturday. It doesn't make any sense to think about it. We have to deal with it. It gives me more energy to fight and turn this around. I'm responsible for having the right mentality. In my communication, my demands and my standards, in what I demand from the players, I have to set that and make sure the right mentality is there. I give my 100% effort every day to get that in. United have fallen to 10th in the Premier League table after losing four of their first seven top fight matches, and they are also bottom of their Champions League group after losing to Bayern Munich and Galatasaray. According to The Independent, the atmosphere at Old Trafford has become toxic inside the dressing room and among general staff. Some players have privately complained about Ten Hag's approach and his proclivity to become even more of a disciplinarian after setbacks. The Dutchman has a lack of nuance and stars think he isn't exactly warm, and any connection with the current team is in danger of being broken. However, putting the burden solely on his shoulders ahead of their match with Brentford may go some way to appeasing unhappy players. In September, the Manchester Evening News also reported that a number of United players were starting to grow weary of their manager's criticisms. Some aces believed that Ten Hag has his favorites in the squad who he refuses to lash out at, while other players are routinely rounded on. And certain United players reckon they had been put in an invidious position to carry out the 53-year-old's tactical instructions as they had been compromised by Antony's absence. Despite his troubles this season, Ten Hag feels United can get back to their best if they continue to stick together. He added, We know we are still in transition as a club, but in the meantime, we know we have to win every game.
We don't walk away from that. Not this team, not these coaches, and not this manager. We have to win every game. That is the approach and will be the approach to every game. It's about patience and a cool head. We stick together and focus on what it's about. That's the way of play. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.